Welcome back to the channel. We love a challenge here at Oscar's Garage. And after we posted the last Wheeler Dealers video, Callum Thomas posted in the comments below, what about Dow Boy's Crayford Cortina? And I thought, what Crayford Cortina? So I did some digging and back in September 1981, so 42 years ago, there was an episode entitled Go West Young Man. And as you can see in the footage here, Dale Boy has acquired this uh, convertible Cortina and he's trying to get Rodney to sell it. And you know, there's lots of smokes and bangs, which I think the TV company have added. But this is the car that uh, Callum was talking about. Now, for those of you that don't know, Crayford is a UK based coach building company that during the 60s, 70s, and I think into the 80s as well, converted hard top cars such as the Capri, Cortina and Fiesta into convertibles. And I believe these were Ford authorized conversions. So I started to do some digging. So the registration number on the OXL 825E didn't bring me any, any joy really on the internet or in the government website. You can see by the government website that it no longer exists. So I started doing some, some other digging and come across a post on the buysellcortina.co.uk forum. And it was quite an old post, but it related to the guy that had actually lent the car or rented the car to the TV company. And apparently he got 200 pounds for loaning the car for a couple of days. So that brings a bit more um, back to it. And I did some more digging and I found this post on uh, Flickr by a user called Jonathan. And okay, it's the, just the pictures of the car in the program, which we've already seen, but below it, there was another registration number mentioned, which was SLR 979F. So I thought, oh, let's try that one. So, and that gave me a few more results. And the biggest winner on it was this post by RS Van on the uh, Passion Ford forum, because he'd actually, um, I don't know if he'd actually bought the car or just moved it, uh, but this was back in 2006. And he actually um, got pictures of the car, which we've got here. And I'm pretty confident this it's the same car because you look at things like the interior and the steering wheel, everything's the same as the car that was featured in the program. Now, it's not a perfect identity, but I also noticed that in the program, the front number plate of the car did seem a little far forward. So it would suggest that it was planted over the original one. So... And the other interesting thing from this RS fans post is that he said that the um, guy that owned it had owned it from new, but he also loaned cars to uh, TV companies. And for those of you fans of um, British TV sitcoms, you may recognize this one, which is the Cortina that was owned by a character called Onslow out of Keeping Up Appearances. And apparently this car has subsequently been scrapped, so you don't need to ask me to chase this one down. So going back round the circle, we go back to um, the Jonathan post on Flickr, and there was a comment under there that it said, and this was from about 2011, that the owner apparently had died and the car had been um, passed on to his daughter and kept on in a heated garage. So I'm guessing from that, that RS fan had only moved it. I'm obviously relying on what we're finding on the internet. But I had a bit of a result because I che checked a website called Check the Spec and it comes up with a record of an MOT test in August 2012. So that definitely suggests this car is um, back on the road at that point. It didn't get an MOT the year after. Now, in the UK, cars that are over 40 years old, and this one would have been over 40 years old in 2010, don't need an MOT every year after then. So it could well have, have, have gone below the MOT radar in the um, UK. So that doesn't mean it's disappeared or off the road, it's just not being um, uh, used at the, uh, or being put through an MOT station. Now finally, just for an interesting little footnote, you can actually buy a dinky model of this car. So 
you know, of all, all the cars in the program, like the, the little Reliant van and so on, you can get the models. And incredibly, for this one that was just featured in a very short period of time, you can actually get a model of this one. So Callum, I hope that solves your, uh, your question and I hope everybody else has enjoyed it. And if you have, please do us a great favor and just click that subscribe button down there.